Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is Joel Swartz here back again at the speed of light and welcome to week 2 of the United Showdown League and we are facing the Houston Reggie Rockets coached by Rice Noctals so check his channel out, link to his channel is in the description down below we are the Challenge Charizards and before we begin this video show some love to the Challenge Charizards by smashing that like button down below subscribe if you have not already and also comment down below what do you think is the game changing moment in this game so without any further ado let's just get into the battle and try to win this we have one win after week one and now we are going to be playing week two hopefully we can win as well again so he was bringing the chandelier tapu coco rodon Toxapex, Mew, and Shaman. We were bringing the Crustle, holding the White Herb, with Sturdy, Shell Smash, Aerial Ace, Earthquake, uh, X Scissor, or Cross Scissor, however you say it. I think it was X I think it is X Scissor. So it was a Shell Smash sweeping set. Earthquake, X Scissor were my, my, ma my main moves, and there was Aerial Ace for the Mega Low Punny, which he did not bring. Then I had 4 in HP, uh, 252 attack, uh, 8 in defense, 8 in special defense, 236 jolly nature um, in speed and um, that was that was enough speed investment to outspeed his whole team after shell smash. Um, so yeah that was our crustle and it was our late game sweeper. So next we have Poki Princess the Magiana. Holding the 5 DMZ with Soul Heart ability, of course. Shift Gear, Shadow Ball, mainly for the Chandelure and the Mew. Aura Sphere and uh, Thunderbolt uh, with 20 HP, 252 Special Attack, 236 Timid Nature, and the 236 is in Speed. So, this was once again our other late game sweeper. For our third mod, we have Mega Venusaur. Poison Ivy with Synthesis, Lead Seed, Sludge Bomb for general damage and Earthquake for things like Toxapex and the Chandelure. <clears throat> 252 in HP, 200 in defense, 56 in special defense with a relaxed nature. Then we had Mandy the Mandibus with Leftovers, U-Turn, Foul Play, Roost, Defog, a very basic set. U-Turn was for momentum and things like that. With 252 HP, uh, 20 uh, defense, and 236 in special defense with a careful nature. Then we had level the Ezelf. We are bringing Choice Scarf once again with U turn, Psychic, Fire Blast, Thunderbolt, a really basic set. The Fire Blast was for the Reggie Steel, which he did not bring. With 4 in attack, 252 in special attack, modest nature with 252 in speed. For the last one, we had a sweeping Garchomp with Salak Berry, uh, Rough Skin, Swords Dance, Outrage, Earthquake, Substitute, uh, with 12 in HP, 252 in Attack, Jolly Nature, 240 in Speed, and 4 in Special Defense. A very similar set to Week 1. <coughs> to try and sweep, and this thing swept to his team uh, after his team is weakened. So yeah, this was our team. And without any further ado, let's just some right into the battle and see who gets the W. So, he leaves the Shaman, Shaman, wow, oh yeah, it is Shaman, what I'm saying. He leaves with Shaman, I leave with level to gain the momentum and uh, with U-turn and if, uh, since it's carved, you know, it has a good amount of cover coverage, that's why I leave with level, I didn't really have rocks or anything, so yeah. I, uh, going to poison ivy because i know that it cannot do a lot to me and i take the seed flare very easily i am a guy about predicting the switch go for a lead seed uh, and he brings in the chandelier so yeah here uh, i was thinking about double lead seeding predicting the switch again why that but i decided to straight up go for an earthquake as he switches out into is Tapu Coco uh, so that was pretty good and pretty bad for me uh, for him pretty good for me 
and earthquake does a lot of damage so that was really good here i just decided to go for sludge bomb trying to get the kill but he switches out into his mew which i was really scared of so here i was worried about the psychic but i knew i could live one so i decided to go for synthesis trying to see how much the psychic does but he sets up a nasty plot and that really scared me because that was really bad for me i switch out into a mandibus because i knew he was gonna go for a psychic and yeah that's why now here i made a really stupid play the first thing that came to my mind was he must have a uh, thunderbolt and so i should predict that and go into my platform because i can possibly kill the mew um uh, so that is great and i can also get on a free switch in into guard chomp so yeah uh, it's a free switch in that's why i was like let's go into guard chomp he's gonna go for thunderbolt and i click guard chomp and then i realized that he must have ice beam and uh, he can go for that on the mandibus as well and just as i was about to click the cancel button the move goes on and guard chomp dies to an ice beam and i was so pissed at myself for not thinking properly so guard chomp dies it was a huge asset loss but it is what it is i just moved on with the game and i should have go into magiana because i know i can take almost any hit that thing throws at me so i go into pokey princess and straight up click sh uh, shadow ball because it was the best play if mew stays in or if the channel switches in which is the obvious switch for magiana so shadow ball does a really 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 good amount of damage he switches out predicting me to switch out and i switch out into my mandibles as that was my counter to the chandelier <coughs> sorry for the coughing now mandibles he could do some good amount of damage with Putin and uh if he switches out this was the best play as well that's why i click uh u-turn and go into my level because you know uh psychic uh psychic type does really well against toxic types because of poison and i could also force the switch up so here I thought it definitely is supposed to switch up but he does not switch and makes a bold play and I click u turn to try and get momentum as he does not switch out which I was pretty surprised. So I go into poison ivy because it walls stocks effects pretty easily. He goes for scald, not getting a burn good for me and does almost nothing. I straight up click <coughs> lead seed but he predicts it and goes into the shaman uh, because shaman is immune to lead seed. Here I just clicked uh, Sludge Bomb because there was no reason not to <coughs> making the safe play. He goes into the uh, Chandelure easily taking the sh uh, Sludge Bomb. I did not get the poison either. Here I did not I did not know that Chandelure gets Psychic and therefore he goes with it and does a lot of damage. But I get the kill with an Earthquake but that really did a lot of damage. But I knew I could uh, get the synthesis up on the Toxapex. Uh, he brings in the Sporodont, and since I knew I could get a synthesis up on the Toxapex, so I decided to preserve this thing and go into Manly because the Crunch or a Dark Demo was pretty obvious. Here, once again, I go for the U turn because that was the only way I could do good amount of damage on it. And even if he switched out, it was good for me because I would gain momentum. He goes into Tapu Koko, I go for the U-turn easily, bring the switch out. And I go into my e because I could easily kill this as I outspeed it. <coughs> I should go for the safe play Psychic, but he switches out into his uh, Shaman, uh, with, and the Psychic does not do a lot. Here, I just go into my... Um, mm, Oh yeah, I go into my mandibles, I believe, or my Magiana, I don't exactly remember. Yes, my Magiana. And here, you know, he goes for synthesis, getting his health back, which was bad for me. He goes for another power. Um, I completely forgot about it. Another thing I forgot about this game, I didn't, I wasn't really thinking properly, which was really bad on my part. I go for Shadow Ball, and it does absolutely nothing. But I do get the special defensive drop, uh, so I should use that in my advantage. I go for shift gear because I thought that on all of Timberling might have a chance to kill it and really calc it. And I get the plus to speed and uh, I just go for an all out Timberling 
hoping that would kill but it does not kill and shaman takes it and eats it up easily it does a good amount of damage but not as much as i expected <coughs> he gets the ko with earth power and i straight up go into my uh, crustal because i thought this was a good situation where i could set up on i go for shell smash and at this point i thought i could sweep him uh, because I thought it kills everything on his team, a team but a Toxapex can actually live in Earthquake and I really didn't think, I didn't cast that because I was, I, uh, in my mind I was pretty definite that uh, this definitely kills but it does not and it takes up the Earthquake, goes for a Skull, brings it down to 0 uh, and uh, to 1% and then he gets the burn which is pretty unfortunate because I would have gotten the kill on Toxapex which is a huge pain. So yeah, go into my poison ivy to get this in pieces off because this was the only one I could do it on. He goes into the mew pretty obvious. So here, the nasty plot was really obvious and I decided to go into my mandibus to get a, you know, to get a free switch in and it was, I, I believe that even after nasty plot I could take a nice beam, so yeah. <clears throat> I should go for a power play hoping that I could kill, but it does not kill. Uh, neither does the ice beam, but of course it will kill next time. So I do a good amount of damage with power play, in fact bring it down to 10% but it does not kill unfortunately. He gets the kill on me and I uh, just die and then I switch out into my Azer because it outspeeds it and it can go for a U-turn to kill it. Um, so yeah, I just click U-turn, he goes into the Toxapex to eat the U-turn up easily. And of course I go into my Mega Venusaur because that's the only other one that is left. I, I, I've, uh, I'm in a losing situation at the moment, which is pretty bad for me. Of course it's bad for me and then over that I miss a lead seed and that pisses me off even more. Because that lead seed would have been good. Anyways, the next turn I get a lead seed off. He goes for ice beam, not doing a lot at all. I get I get uh, some of my health back through the lead seed, and here yeah, I just real quick uh, click earthquake because there was no reason not to. He goes into shaman, easily eating it up, and I completely forgot that shaman gets psychic. So that was once again bad on my part. And he goes for psyching doing a lot of damage to me. Psychic. I said psyching. Wow. Anyways, I get the kill on him through a surge bomb, which is good, but the uh, psychic does a lot, which is problematic for me. He goes into the Mew, which was really an obvious play. And he goes for a Z shattering psychic, I believe. I don't exactly remember the name. He goes for Z psychic, I guess. He goes for Shatter and Psych, yep I was right, and that does a really good amount of damage on level. I here just decided to U-turn out of there um, once again. That does a lot to Crawdon, and here Crawdon, uh, was, he had some chance of killing with Crunch, I was hoping the Crunch does not kill. Uh, he goes for the Crunch of course and gets the kill which was really, really bad. So I bring in my Azel hoping he does not switch out because um, uh, if Thunderbolt just cleans up at this point uh, but he switches out of course that was good on his part because that just won him the game there because I was 100% sure that he's banded and he has Aquajet on there because banded Aquajet you know that's really good. I get the kill on the Toxapex a 2 hit KO. He goes into his on pretty simple just goes for an aqua jet and gets the kill on me gg to him he played really well there was some hacks involved but i'm not sure whether that mattered if you think it mattered then you know tell me whether you think it mattered or not in the comment section down below um this match i wasn't really thinking much you know i was literally clicking the first thing that came into my mind which was really bad on my part i should have thought better uh, and since I didn't, that ended up giving me the L, uh, which makes me really sad. 
as we are one win and one loss in uh, after week two. Um, and after this game, I was very sad, but I knew that it was my fault for not thinking properly during the game. And um, I uh, next week onwards, of course, I have to play better, think better during the game, and that was only that way I can win game. So I was really sad, but GG to him. He played well, and I played really bad. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you have not already. Share the video and comment down below whether you think the hacks mattered and what was the game changing moment of the game. Anyways, guys, I'll leave you here. I'll come back next time at 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second. And peace, guys.